I just wanted to do a quick check-in with y'all. Our chickens that hatched in February are now 15 weeks old today. And I wanted to show y'all how big they have gotten. Please don't judge our chicken coop right now. We've been fighting with all of the rain that we have. And so we've been putting in a floor, trying to put in a floor to con combat the mud. But the chickens are getting big. They love to sit on top of this box, as you can see, because it gets them up. Um, especially because of the rain, but then just, in, I think in general, they like to be up and roosting and looking around and, and they get a better view there. Um, they are pretty much full grown at this point. We do have, I think, three roosters. This one here, this one here, and that one right there. They are not laying eggs yet. We probably have at least a month, probably a month and a half. Well, usually when they're about 18, five months old, they'll start laying. So hopefully maybe the end of July, we might start seeing some eggs. I was kind of hoping maybe one of my roosters would crow for you. If you're wondering how do we know they're roosters, well, look at this one. They usually have very uh, colorful, and long tail feathers. They have a much bigger comb, which is that red on top of their head. They have a bigger waddle, which is the red part underneath their beak. So as you can see, see how this one has the much co more colorful tail feathers, larger comb than say this one right next to it, or those two. They also, a lot of times, will have a spike on the back of their leg, but I think that it's a little early for that because I haven't noticed the spike on my roosters. Um, that one right there might be a rooster, too, uh, if you look at the bigger tail feathers, the more colorful tail feathers. So we have a few roosters, and I don't know if we'll be able to keep them all because a lot of times roosters will fight each other. So we may be getting rid of a couple of the roosters uh, depending on how they respond to each other. Oh, there you go. So I was hoping one of them would crow for you. They start crowing at the first sign of light in the morning and they will crow all throughout the day. Um, they like to have themselves heard. This one right here is really what I would consider our more dominant rooster. He definitely acts like he is in charge. He was the first one that started crowing and he crows a lot. Um, but he is definitely, I think, our large and in charge rooster. Uh, and I think he knows I'm talking about him. So we are still giving them uh, the grower starter food that we will keep giving them for about another month. Usually when they're about 18 weeks old, we will change them over to a layer feed, which has more nutrients in it that are, give them stronger eggs, more calcium and things. Um, this grower starter feed has some medication in it to help fight any, any illnesses that they get when they're younger. We also have been putting some vitamins and probiotics in their water. Um, just another thing to kind of help keep them healthy. But I just wanted to point out to you and show you how much they have grown. Uh, they really do like sitting on these roosting ladders as well. Not that there any of them are doing that now. And a lot of times when we come out here, they'll jump down because they think we're bringing them treats. Uh, they like to be on the ground and, and pecking around for food. Uh, right now, they're kind of staying on top of the house. Uh, we will be cleaning this house out here in the next week because we have some babies inside the house that are going to be ready to move out. But we've got to keep them separate from our larger chickens for uh, several weeks until they get bigger because we don't want the larger chickens to pick on 
or attack or hurt our little our younger chickens so we'll clean this box out um, and shut it off put that little flap down so that they can um, stay in that box and be separated from the larger chickens so we have everything ready for when they do start uh, laying eggs got the little nesting boxes set up and that is our chickens if y'all have any questions um, Please feel free to send me an email. My email is D-E-A-N-A -A dot F-U-C-H-S 16 at gmail dot com. And I would be happy to try to answer those questions for y'all about the chickens. <coughs> and our rooster here agrees. So we haven't really had a whole lot of problems with the bugs. They like the bugs. The bugs are good for them. But we have had to make some adjustments because of all of the rain. So they don't seem to mind the rain a lot. But we do want to try to keep them up and out of the water. And we were having some problems with flooding inside our chicken coop. Hence the wood on the floor. <coughs> Figured I'd let him give y'all one more good crow. So hope y'all are having a good beginning to your summer. And we'll be checking back again with the chickens in a couple of weeks probably.